Hello, Faith and Justice Fellows. This is Brian Ellis Gibbs. Again, we are so grateful to have you a part of our 2016 through 2017 fellowship. Looking forward to great things happening uh, along your journey. This is the first video of a series of videos that we are uh, creating for you to help you along your journey as you develop your project. Uh, we look forward to working with you and partnering with you as you gain insight and uh, do what you need to do in terms of working your project, developing it, and implementation of it. This first video is called The Call. Uh, it focuses on the call and what does the call mean. Uh, some of us as faith leaders have already experienced the call, a general sense of the call, as it were, uh, understanding that that call is this uh, pull of God upon our lives uh, to serve in a particular capacity role to meet a certain need. And we also understand that our calling is connected to a divine uh, purpose uh, for existence. And the call is a call to action, a call to serve God and to serve others and a call to live in the fullness of our lives that has been given and birthed by the divine whom we call God, Yahweh, Elohim, uh, Allah, a higher power, divine source, love, and other. We have experienced this general sense of being called, yet as you engage in the work of your project, you've probably begun to ask the question, what is the specific work God is calling me to accomplish? What is or are the issues, the problems that God is calling me to address? Uh, what is God calling you, the divine calling you to look at and to see? Or well, you may be even wrestling with the question, what has brought you to this point in your journey? What journey have you been traveling that has brought you to this place at this time in your life? We understand that we are being called to serve, yet why is this issue the issue that God is calling us to engage in this time and at this moment in our lives? And what is that work God is calling us to accomplish as we stand before God and uh, look to partner with God and with others in this work? Uh, we also understand that God is using us to challenge an issue, to confront implicit and explicit evil, and to change and transform that issue so that justice, equity, and righteousness occurs. In addition to the divine calling, uh, God is not only calling us to transform lives and build community, we are also being called to be transformed. We are called to participate in a process that moves us from our hidden potential to actualization of that potential. We are called to live in our authentic self to live out of the depth and fullness of who we are, who we've been created to be. We've been called to hear the voice that speaks to us through dreams and visions. We are called to see ourselves, to value our stories, to honor our spirits, and to be our best selves collaborating with God, God's people, and God's creation to ensure that all are loved and share the abundant resources that God has provided. As we continue to discern the call for greater clarity of direction and as we hear the call, we hear it originating from God, a pulling at our spirit to fulfill an existential purpose. We hear the call from an internal place within ourselves that is birthed out of our experiences in life and those experiences that we have witnessed in the lives of others. We hear the cries of those throughout our community who are suffering, asking for help and for healing. And as you continue to think about the call or calls, consider how you have responded to the call or have not responded. Why and what does that look like? What are some of the challenges to hearing and or answering the call to the work of your project? And how will you address those challenges? Maybe as you face those challenges, you want to ask yourself, what about this issue sets your heart ablaze, sets your heart on fire, and urges you to see that which is occurring and taking place? Where do you hear the emergency alarm sounding and feel led to assist in helping people recover, heal, and be free? What is there within your own religious tradition and faith that speaks to this issue and to the potential uh, of your role addressing it? As you reflect upon these thoughts, a question may arise, how do we prioritize knowing that there are so many issues throughout our community and our city that we could focus upon? Prayer and discernment are essential tools in understanding where we are being led to go as we seek to answer the call. 
study of scriptures and holy writings help us to engage in contextualizing the call and understanding the power that is availed to us as we seek to transform community. Conversations with trusted and wise persons and dialogue about the issues help to provide greater clarity and insight. And at some point we must also ask, are we being called to go it alone? Sometimes there is a message out there that informs us that we are the only ones who can address the issue. What is it about the exercise of prophetic witness that sometimes makes so many of us feel like we are the ones who are, have to do this work all by ourselves? Self-care comes into play here as we identify our own giftedness and passion and recognize and understand the gifts and roles of others as we are not the only ones called to serve and to be agents of change. So as you work on your project, as you reflect upon the calling of God in your life and specific to the project that you're working upon, as you think about the issues that stand before you and the issues that God is calling you to address, reflect, reflect, reflect upon these questions. Ask yourself questions that are needful in helping you to gain clarity about what God is calling you to do. But also understand that the project is not really about the work that you're doing. It's also about the work that God is doing in and through you. So as you go along your journey, we wish you well and God bless you.